now. Uh, as I'm sure you know where you've come and, and you know what's going to happen, but still it deserves a very good intro because Startup Wise Guys is legendary, as you all know it. Yeah. And <laughs> yes, give it up. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I checked their website just now, and it is so cool to see that uh, even their motto there is investing in the bold ones. So how good of a match is it with this year's really bold Latitude 59? So I am not going to talk much more because I am really thrilled to welcome Andrea Orlando from Startup Wise Guys on the stage. Yes, let's do this. Welcome, everyone. My name is Andrea. Guess where I am from? I'm not Estonian. I am Italian, and I have the honor to be one of the partners at Startup Wise Guys. Few words about Wise Guys. We are from Estonia, 2012. The magic started. It was a fantastic moment to create momentum with startup investment, free seed, and Startup Wise Guys was created. Since then, we've developed across Europe, several countries. I'm running the Italian side of it, but we have funds that cover different verticals and different countries, creating impact across Europe. How much have we invested? A lot. We invested in almost 400 founders. We've done approximately 40 programs, impact, resources are created across Europe through the Startup Wise Guys brand. If it, sounds, if it sounds impossible, then we are probably into it. Because what we are trying to do with our energy, with our charisma, we help founders becoming entrepreneurs, and we put a lot of sustainability into it. Okay? so. This is Startup Wise Guys, and you are in for a ride today. Because what you will do together with me, you will have a peek into the future. What? Listen to me. You know what's the best part of my job as a pre seed investor? Is that I see now what companies that will reach maturity in five, ten years look like. So I see now what the world in five, ten years, may look like. I get to see into the future a little bit, if you will. And if you're patient today with me, you will peek into the future as well. We start now with our first guest. And I want to tease you with something. You know what this is? It's a receipt. For some of us, this is the beginning of a journey about data analytics, customer satisfaction, value creation. With that, please welcome on stage McKinsey alumnus, Wise Guys Beck founder, digital receipts revolutionaire, CEO of Evening, Mr. Giacomo. Thank you, Andrea. Okay, hi. Hi, everyone. So, thank you, Andrea, for the kind of introduction. Um, we're evening, and what we do is that we help merchants get easy access to digital tools, starting, as Andrea just presented, from the paperless receipts. I don't know how many of you know this, but every year, over 250 billion receipts get printed across Europe, costing the environment a lot of trees and merchants a lot of money. And, obviously, no consumer has ever liked a paper receipt. But as it turns out, consumers don't even like current digital solutions. And that is because most of them require you to share your personal information, like email or phone number, with a complete stranger at the cash register, in a process which is long, 
error prone and so just disgusting. However, we believe that the receipts have a great untapped potential. In fact, they have granular sales data about all the transactions and also offer a direct point of contact between the retailers and their customers. And if digitized properly, they can create a great platform on top of which build digital tools for the underserved European SME merchants. How does our solution work? We substitute the receipt printer with a small screen. So instead of printing the paper receipt, we show the final consumer a QR code for them to scan with their smartphone. Within this digitization process, we're able to extrapolate the data, analyze it, and offer the merchants some services like analytics on how the business is going and even advices on how they can improve their business through pricing and promotions. The service is offered on a subscription basis starting at 9 dollars a month and goes up in price depending on the selected analytics features. As a category, the digital receipt driven services can count on a target market between North America and Europe of about 6 million shops, totaling a value of over 2 billion euros. But if we focus on our key markets of Italy, France, and UK, we come down to about 2 million shops and 700 millions in value. As a category, we're still quite young. In fact, our direct competitors are other startups just like us at seed level and operating at local level uh, throughout Europe. But the way we differentiate from them is that we are the easiest solution to be adopted. In fact, while some of our competitors only focus on card transactions and so need to focus and partner with the card providers, some others also require the final consumer to install an app, none of that is necessary with us. We cover all triples transactions, and that is because we are plug and play versus existing cash registers, and so the merchant would install us like they would install a normal printer at their home for their computer. And then on the consumer side, uh, we do not need any app or any subscription. In fact, the consumer just needs their smartphone and their camera, and they're ready to go. That way, we're able to cover all types of transactions, card, cash, you name it, and get all of the data, and that way, build better services. As a team, we come from PhDs and top manager in consulting, but we have worked hand in hand with independent merchants to really understand what their needs are and how to address them properly. And our goal is to raise, uh, uh, we just launched, <laughs> actually, <laughs> we raised the very first money through Startup West Guys, joining the program uh, in January. And we have launched at the beginning of this month. And now we have 11 customers and are delivering five more in the upcoming week. Our goal is to raise a pre-seed uh, round at the end of the year which will help us achieve product market fit. Thank you very much. Up for Mr. Giacomo. Thank you very much, Giacomo. How about that? I told you receipts were the beginning of a journey. So some founders begin their journey because they care about empowerment and inclusivity. Some founders do what they do because they care about helping people with some disabilities overcome challenges. The next founder will tell you about people with cognitive um, disabilities overcoming those challenges. So welcome on stage from Turkey via Italy to Estonia Wise guys, back founder and CEO of Bainex, Mr. Sarp. Hello, everybody. I'm the co-founder and co-CEO of Bainex. So imagine your mind, your memories, and the faces of your loved ones slowly fading away. So this is the reality with people with dementia and think about the families, their pain. So, the dementia and cognitive decline are progressive conditions, so we need to act really early. And when I mean early, I mean today, so that we can have a better tomorrow. Due to the shortcomings in sensing and addressing, dementia has become the second leading cause of death 
in high-income countries. This is why we built Bainex, to act early and uh, help people with cognitive problems. So first, we engage users uh, with cognitive assessment tests and gamified, sorry, gamified assessment tests and lifestyle surveys. From there, users can see their uh, status and get their initial actionable suggestions. But also, uh, of course, everybody is unique and one size fits all model would not work. So through recurring cognitive tests and daily surveys, our AI algorithm continuously optimizes and personalizes our suggestions with respect to that person. So um, thanks to our retention numbers, we are sure that our user journey is well appreciated by our, by our users. And we are strong believers of launch early and develop continuously. So in two years, full of customer discovery and UX improvements, we were able to achieve 50,000 registered users all organically. Of course, the market is huge. Our initial strategy is to target North America and Europe countries. And in two, two to three years, we are aiming for 70,000 paying Bainex users from these markets. The field is a blue ocean and the competition is nearly forming. So we, our advantage is our product. Uh, while we are ahead in the sense of content offering and customer journey, we are keen to sustain that advantage, so we have a clear product development plan ahead of us. Our acquisition strategy is mainly driven by digital marketing, but of course it's supported with influencer, blogger corporations, and corporate partnerships. So while focused on B2C, we also see the opportunities in the B2B area, so we are currently exploring the potential markets for future partnerships. We have all the necessary components for founders market fit. Our professor with 30 years experience in the field leads our scientific progress. I have a background in venture capital firms, so I know the startup ecosystem, and Ennis has, some, uh, Ennis has uh, experience in pharmaceuticals. And also we have an amazing development team with diverse skills, so they have been working together for seven years and published more than 20 mobile apps. We are currently running a seed round and secure 60% of it. We are about to close the round also. So thank you for listening to me and thank you for your interest in Bainex. Thank you for uh, helping uh, making a better world. So the next founder is passionate about three things. Cats, new experiences, and sustainability. And yet, today's here to talk about waste. So welcome on stage, BCG alumnus, wise guys, back founder, from India to Estonia, Mr. Pranav. Hi, I'm Pranav from Trashify, and I'm here to talk about an opportunity in the material recovery sector. The biggest challenge faced by this sector is lost revenue due to inefficient sorting. And this happens because they lack accurate and actionable data about their processes. Enter Trashify. Using our AI-powered computer vision system, we are able to detect and identify 100% of the waste items coming in and provide critical data such as waste composition and item count to the facility that they never had access to before. Now, we don't just provide information, we help them make decisions. Using our algorithm, these facilities are able to assign their workers to the specific type of waste uh, item that would make the most amount of revenue for them. And by using reinforcement learning, we are able to continuously improve this algorithm so we can compare predicted information with actual incoming waste and help them constantly improve their facility operations. Our business model is a monthly subscription to software with dynamic pricing across our markets. We had the opportunity to run a paid pilot uh, in a facility in Tartu, Estonia, and are in the process of converting this uh, into a client. We're also in talks with a lot of uh, facilities across Europe and India for paid pilots. And considering the centralized system of waste management in both these regions, we will be able to expand easily without additional cost of acquisition. And by the end of this year, we are looking at almost 8,000 in MRR in euros. 
we'll be using uh, these pilots to uh, develop a lot of uh, algorithms that will develop the facility optimization suite further. The global smart waste management industry is growing with a CAGR of 20%, and we are looking at a playground of over 3 billion euros across APAC and Europe. This means almost 120,000 facilities, with uh, them having as many as 10 uh, sorting lines per facility. In this market, our competition has overlooked facility optimization in both automated and manually driven facilities. This is an opportunity we aim to seize. Using our uh, software, which empowers the facility to make data-driven decision making, we are able to make sure that they are able to make revenue out of hidden efficiencies in their own facility. We are a team of three friends that come from a diverse background, but our mutual interest in sustainability brought us together. And by Q4 2024, we aim to hit our MRR target of 50,000 euros across 100 facilities in Europe and APAC. And to achieve this, we are raising a pre-seed round of 500,000 euros. Now, Trashify believes that waste is not just a problem, it's untapped resources. And that's why we always say it's trash can, not trash can't. Thank you. You can catch me after this uh, session for discussions if you want. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you very much. How's the energy level? Raise your hand if there's energy in the room. Make some noise. OK. That was enough. This is not a stadium. The next founder, however, knows a thing or two about a stadium, but we're not here to talk about that. OK, moving forward. So imagine a world where university applications are effortlessly and smooth. Imagine a world where students can focus on their learning instead of hustling to apply to universities or post-graduation program. That world can exist. And the next founder will tell you about that. Please welcome on stage London Business School graduate, serial entrepreneur, Inter Milan fan, and CEO of Unify, Mr. Mattia. Hello, everyone. I'm Mattia, founder and CEO at Unify. And at Unify, we make student recruitment for universities around the world easy and effective. My higher education journey was life-changing. What was not life-changing was applying to university. It was actually a real mess. So 10 years ago, I started my first company in this space. That company is now a multinational, and this experience has taught me that students do stress a lot about the admission process. But their universities have a real nightmare recruiting students around the world. Despite large marketing budgets, 80% of them are unable to promote their programs effectively, and 40% of them miss their enrollment targets. That's because they do not have a reliable source to find and engage the right students for their programs. And this is where Unify comes in. We're building the end-to-end -end platform that connects universities with students around the world in a single place. For students, it means a single platform to manage the whole admission and post-admission process to any university in the world in a single place. We save them time and money during the process. For universities, we are an AI-enabled lead generation tool that allows them to showcase their programs, identify the hottest leads, and how to best engage them. We maximize the diversity in their campuses and, of course, their revenues. This is a huge market opportunity. The higher education technology market is reaching 140 billion by 2028. And we have the perfect team to target this incredible opportunity. Our team met during our, during our MBA at London Business School, passionate about making quality education accessible to students worldwide. But we are the most diverse team in the industry. We've already signed over 200 contracts with universities around the world. That's 30% market penetration in our beachhead market. And since launching in January, we already have over 14,000 users on the platform and more than 700 applying users at a cost of around 20 times cheaper than we had projected to date. We are on target to reach our year one goals, 350 students placed and 150K of revenue generated for our revenue sources. 
And more importantly, we're about to launch the next big thing in the higher education industry, the Unify Engagement Tool. It's an AI-powered chatbot that can be installed on any university website or on any platform like the Unify platform for universities to engage with students in a much more direct, real, and engaging way, of course. Increasing lead generation and, of course, lead conversion down the funnel. For us at Unify, it means a unique solution that does not exist in this market that is going to allow us to target a much larger market, build the defensible technology from the get-go, and of course, bring an annual recurring revenue through the subscription tool. The subscription tool will supercharge our current product and will bring us a fresh revenue stream. This revenue stream will reach us 70 million by year four, with 50% of the, of the revenues coming from the subscription tool. Thank you. Oh, sorry. We're raising our pre-seed round. I forgot. <laughs> and we're raising our pre-seed round with 320K already committed. Uh, the money will be used to supercharge our year one growth and build the, pro the next product. Thank you very much. Let's do it. Thank you very much, Mattia. Go Unify, go. Thank you. OK, if you want to contact Mattia, just don't do it on June the 10th, because I bet he will be busy watching Champions League final. OK. The next founder is a pitch machine and a gamification guru. And what do you do when you have a pitch machine and a gamification guru? You shut up and you welcome them on stage because there's not much you can say. So please welcome on stage Latitude 59 2020 competition winner and Wise Guys back founder, the CEO of ADACT, Mr. Kalev. Thank you. We actually have a quite a decent company as well. <laughs> so let me do something differently. So in innovation, there is usually three phases. First, you have this excitement. You want to do something great, something awesome. And then the second phase, you realize how much money it costs, how much time it takes, without knowing what is the end result. And then you'll come up with an excuse, because it probably wouldn't have worked anyway. And then you give up. And that's why only companies with like 50K being a rounding error can truly do something unique and all the time. Companies like Coca-Cola and Volkswagen who are constantly creating new gamified interactive, interactive engagement to promote their brands and services. I know how much they cost because I was there creating them. My name is Caleb, I'm the founder of Adact and we enable innovation to every company. Adact is a software which brands and agencies can use to create different kinds of interactive experiences to promote their brands and services, but do it in around one day and being fully personalized. Users will log in, choose from among 50 different campaigns to or campaign templates ranging from quizzes, puzzles, interactive media, interactive videos, um, another type of engagement, and then personalize and launch them within a day. Exactly like, oh, and they are using them for different kinds of marketing purposes, lead generation, in conferences, demo booths, employee engagement, learning, and so on. Exactly like Starbucks called us on a Tuesday, and on Thursday, their first interactive campaign was live, promoting their new product. Exactly like Gucci called us last week on a Wednesday, and on next Monday, the campaign that they were working on to promote their new perfume with Miley Cyrus is now going live next week. This could not have been done without the act. And they're exactly like hundreds of other clients who are using the act, who are spending less and getting more. They're getting more click-through rates, engagement, and participation. That means they can use their resources to spend more on distribution instead of spending it on creation. Now, we do have competition, but we are aggressively taking over the market lead position in our very niche field. We have not, we, there's not a single customer that we have lost to a competitor who has compared us to a competitor. That's because we are, our product is more flexible, with better anal analytics, better customer experience, and so on. Now, as I mentioned, the product's use case varies from marketing, HR conference, and so on. So we're tackling around 10 billion euro target uh, addressable market, and we do have a product that is ready to tackle all of it. Now, we currently sit around 250K ARR, but the most impressive fact is our customer acquisition cost to lifetime value is around 1 to 4.5. And that's thanks to our inbound leads taking around 50% of all of our clients. How is that even possible? It's because our team has created the perfect sales, onboarding, and customer experience strategies which can be scaled and repeated, and we do not spend a lot of time for each customer. 
And we are raising 1.5 million to now enter into the US market. And no, we're not spending the first 100K to give to the first sales guy on Wall Street. We're actually spending it on a strategic partnerships, on SEO, paid marketing, and we will be the first team on the ground selling, selling it act to our existing clients and existing contacts. So if you're interested in investing into a very niche market leader product, then you can contact me uh, with those contacts. Thank you. You still got it, Caleb. You still got it. You're still a pitch machine. OK, uh, pitch machine, bring back the remote. I know, take it all. OK. So what is trust? in the digital industry is more than signature, right? It's uh, authentication, it's storing personal data. To talk about trust services in digital, please welcome on stage from Latvia to Estonia via Italy, the CEO of TrustLinks, Mr. Don't Call Me Just Digital Signature, Edgars. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am Edgars from TrustLinks, co-founder and uh, CEO. And uh, we provide innovative software for companies to easily embed trust services into their digital business. Here's the catch. To go digital, we all must use either of trust services, like support different identities, collect signatures, seal data, and others. Today, companies go to service providers, referred to as the middlemen, to get it, to different service providers to get different what they need. But here's the catch. The moment they share data with them, they are losing control over security and data privacy. And that has happened in the majority of cases, you know, unsanctioned. Departments go and do it. Having the middleman in the process means friction in the user experience. And this is something companies will try to diminish due to the negative effect. It can be avoided, and many companies do if they invest in the integrations, in developments, and then maintenance. But this is a sophisticated path and very costly, especially in the longer run. Meanwhile, my co-founder and myself, we come from enterprise software business, and we were hired to do it, to extend capabilities of our customer systems with different trust services. Identity, signing, sealing, inside their infrastructure as part of their systems, so that they can use from the same point Different scenarios, different use cases that they need. Onboard, transact, serve, whatsoever, automate. As the result, they get a very smooth user experience without any middleman. All the data, all the magic is happening without, within their firewalls, meaning they are in charge of uh, security and privacy. What is the secret sauce is all the automation that otherwise would be needed to be done by customers IT that is packed as a product and given to them. Competition. Actually, you know, there's a lot of noise out there in such domain. Our real competition is actually like DSS libraries, which is like pure code. If you use that to develop your solution, then you, you, know, can, you can comply. But uh, what we have done, we have packed it in a meaningful software so that companies can easily innovate and automate. And alternatively, our customers would go to the middleman. What we focus and where is the biggest differentiation, we bring trust to where the data is being managed, to where the users work, not vice versa. We have already results. We have uh, paying customers from different industries. Although we're generalists, most of the customers, and look at those names, they come from financial industry, all telcos in Baltics, they use the uh, health and other software vendors, because let's face it, all modern software requires these capabilities. Now it's a make or buy decision. Yeah, uh, lifetime value and acquisition cost is very good because once we get the customer, they grow the usage and they also add the different products that we have on the portfolio to cover all their needs. Kate and myself, we are co-founders. We've worked together for decades in enterprise software business. We know it inside out. Kate is a technical and architect expert, also has startup experience. I come from originally from banking, but in different roles associated to business development, sales and innovations. We are raising only six to 900,000, out of which 300 are already committed to grow our revenues over a million, which means over 100,000 MRR in 12 months. But we also, just like Startup Wise guys are doing a great job, would expect that you help us to reach the right channels and also grow our team. 
We believe trust services will be a native capability in any modern business software or product. We help it happen already today. So join us. Thank you, Edgar. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. And the mic. Well done. So, you still have one left in you guys? Yes, you yes. better lock the door. Nobody leave the room. <laughs> so, the next founder actually helps me touching on something that is really important for me. You know, what matters in life? Is it money? Is it the fastest car? Yes? I think if I say people, would you agree with that? If I say talent, would you agree with that? So the, the next founder helps organizing how to hire top talents in a seamlessly way. Please welcome on stage Harvard Business School graduate, wise guy, spec founder, HR interview visionaire, Mr. Effe. Hello, everyone. This is Efe. I am one of the co-founders and CEO of WireUp. Uh, at WireUp, we help recruiters to identify the best talent efficiently and transparently using artificial intelligence. When I found my dream job on LinkedIn, I was very disappointed because I saw that a huge number of people applied as well, so I was very frustrated. Then I realized the recruiters must be also very frustrated. I did some research. I found out that there are four main problems all recruiters suffer from. First of all, hiring is very expensive. It costs almost $5,000 to hire just one person. Because of this, they all lack resources. And guess what? They can interview only a small fraction of all of their applicants. As a result of that, they do poor decisions all the time. In average, it costs $15,000 to correct a hiring mistake. And finally, rec uh, candidates suffer as well. Uh, they receive feedback almost never, and uh, it, it affects the employer branding as well. So my co-founder Arda and I decided to do something about that. And uh, we had this vision of this product, interviewing everybody, eliminating the bias from the process completely, and hiring the best talent. So our product uh, is an um, AI-powered asynchronous video interview platform that helps recruiters to interview the entire applicant pool. This is just a simple view from our platform. As you can see, some sentences are highlighted. We use natural language processing to analyze every single sentence in a job interview. This is not the only thing we do. Uh, we can analyze the spoken language competency of the applicants, and also we can even leverage our core technology to analyze employee satisfaction surveys. Our, thanks to our technology, recruitment will be a much cheaper affair the higher quality will increase substantially because instead of just a meager 2%, you will interview all of your applicants. And finally, your recruitment decisions will be justified to your candidates as well. All of them can get feedback. We have great traction so far. These are just some of the great companies that you can see, Coca-Cola and Turkish Airlines included. So uh, these numbers of uh, interview volumes and revenue are just based on the existing contracts, but with our uh, fantastic pipeline, we can easily hit 200,000 pounds of uh, revenue within a year. It's a massive market. Uh, recruitment tools and agencies market is worth 15 billion pounds. We specifically focus on, the, uh, on specific segments, specific experience areas and English spoken markets. And within five years, we can easily hit 18 million pounds of annual revenue. Uh, our, our financial model is uh, pay as you go or uh, subscription based. I think we have the right team for the job. I have an Harvard MBA and I have more than 15 years of experience in various corporates, including Ford, KPMG, GSK. My co-founder has a PhD in natural language processing. We have fantastic advisors and we have a fantastic team that we built using our own technology within two months. So uh, we are looking, uh, so we have completed our uh, pre-seed round. Now for our seed round, we are looking for uh, 450,000 uh, pounds. And uh, we already have a commitment for uh, more than 100,000 uh, pounds for that. So uh, thank you very much for your attention. Happy to get your uh, questions as well. So, how was it? Said that it's over? Don't be. 
connect with the founders, continue the journey with them, open gates for them, give them feedback, whatever you can do, make it valuable for them. This is Startup Wise Guys. This is the QR code if you want to connect with us and the founders. I'll see you at the next one. Go Startup Wise Guys! Yeah.